Reeve, get that ult off. Yes, okay, Reeve lasted for the ult. That, could this be the run? Things are lining up for us. Let this be the run. Let this be the run. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. Fastidious. Fastidious. How the heck are you, everybody? I am Fastidious. Welcome to my channel. I'm live on Twitch right now where I've been grinding out my first ever triple S in Conqueror. Conqueror is one of the two remaining codexes or codices that I don't have a triple S in. And as you can see, this is going to be, you've seen from the thumbnail, this is all about Reeve. Because Reeve is a freaking god. I mean, look at this. He's putting up over 100 million. Sometimes he's my number two scorer. I mean, I've got a great team here of this little quad doing such cool stuff. And why am I opening up on an SS Plus page, not a Triple S page? Well, I want to show you. Maybe the keen eye has noticed if you've also obsessed over this for many hours like I have. But look at this. It's at 1.569032 million, a.k.a. <laughs> a.k.a. I am, oh my god, 968 points away, triple digit points away from Triple S. That is how close this is, so I'll show you right now. That's my new high score. I've got the whole thing worked out like crazy. Look, 968 points. I'm very happy and relieved I did that math right. So this is what I've been working on. Uh, and basically that last run would have been it, except Reeve died. If Reeve didn't die, I probably would have had my extra 968 points. You know, when you're talking about, that, about over a million points, less than a thousand is freaking infuriating. Uh, this has tortured me for many a codex runs. I think this is the fourth time it's come. I've always been at SS Plus. Can't make the break. But but Reeve is the difference, and this will very much be a Reeve guide showcase as I hopefully am showing you my first ever triple S for Conquer. So you can see here, let me let me show you how deep in the weeds I've gotten. Let's go to display capture mode. You can see I'm timing out every play. This is my already a placement, I'll say. And all the other ones are my ults when I'm triggering ults. And then by this point, I'm just triggering ASAP. There is RNG in this run. It really comes down mostly to Cerberus. And that is because, actually, let me just show you his kit right now uh, so you can see it. Uh, Cerberus' kit is infuriating. I love it. But his basic attack, when deployed, immediately gains, blah, 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 blah. But then this, uh, water decay beneath the hero's feet, dealing 50% AoE damage to multiple enemies, right? So when an enemy's approaching as they march down, like it happens in the Conqueror boss, he's choosing whichever enemy uh, is there. And it is RNG, which enemy he does it, uh, that he keys in on, thus an RNG aura that he places. And if he places them the right things, he heals himself really well and he does a lot of nice damage. If he doesn't, he doesn't. And it's all about, we're gonna save his ult basically the whole fight for the very end, and we wanna do it right as he's about to die, uh, right when we're at like double S, and that should make the difference. And that's what has happened the past few times with the past two runs, Reeve has been dying. So I guess it was be a little showcase for all these guys, but it really does come down to Cerberus and Reeve. And I guess this kind of cultist team that we've thrown together with Morrigan as a Lord, this was not possible previously. I did try some cultist comps, but I didn't have the damage. Uh, because I was losing before I was using Vladov, who also serves as a lord for Cerberus, and of course Ardia, who I'm very lucky to have. But Morrigan now, uh, with this great skill, helping the AoE damage, and also getting some damage when the enemies are under some crowd control effect, this is a perfect synergy with Cerberus when combined with Reeve, because Reeve is putting out a big crowd control effect with these slows, um, and of course Reeve is a cultist, so he's going to do some nice AoE damage too on his ult. I should say, this is super sweaty because my skill ups have been really unlucky. I just put all my skill dust into a Reeve. I would skill crystal him if I could, but I'm out of dust. I'm not desperate enough yet to start grinding out new stages of Tide. Tide is the bane of many of our existences. Well, actually, no, Arena is the bane of my existence. Tide is annoying, though. And you can see I landed three in the passive, uh, one in the basic, two in the other passive. This is a good one. And then not a single one in the ultimate, which really, 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 really hurts for Reeve. Because, you know, effect duration would be nice, additional stun would be nice, but even just at level 2, I could have got minus 200 cost, and I would have so much more control. This would go down from 1100 skill cost to 900, but that has not happened. So, we're jumping in live, I'm confident we're gonna get it. Uh, it is late in the day, because I've been grinding this for over 3 hours, uh, and this is not the first time I've done a many hour stream trying to get Triple S in Conqueror. Uh, but yeah, let me show you my Reeve build. Uh, I tried originally doing a nice Glacier build, getting some HP and some DPS, and what I found, and guys, if you have a skilled out Reeve, you'll do way better than I'm doing, uh, because he's going to get more damage from his ult, he's going to get a more frequent ult, and he's going to get a longer ult. Uh, and this is the ult, is where he's going to get some nice rage regen, uh, excuse me, health regeneration uh, that's coming here. 
because when he's doing his ult, he's also putting out the stuns, so he's going to have more of the HP regeneration. I am lucky that I landed three hits here. This one does help. Basic doesn't matter. Uh, the slows are really nice. You know, the more targets we're putting slows on and getting crowd control, the more people he can hit. Uh, that can restore the HP. But because he's doing a big AoE here, he has the slows from here, and then he gets additional uh, additional stuns uh, on the ult as well. Um, you guys will do a lot better if you can land your skills more more luckily than I have. Uh, but this is our Reeve, and then, uh, you know, I've been doing this on Twitch, and some people are saying just go straight DPS. I tried it out, and he's in my very best gear. This is my Hex gear. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can see we got his attack over 14,000. Uh, 2.1 second interval down point down from 3.5 346 not too fast but it's decent he's crit capped coming up on 400 uh, percent crit damage uh, over 375 percent crit damage uh, no rage regen unfortunately i couldn't get that kind of gear going artifact i'm the one from the shop baby this is so good for him right uh, it does not take very long for him to kill 10 targets and thus permanently stack 10% post-deployment attack boost. That is amazing. Combine that with the fact that it's a mythic. We have nice HP contribution and flat attack contribution. And then, of course, just generally during his ult, we're doing 15% more damage. Uh, another way you guys will benefit from skilling out that ult that I have not been uh, not been benefiting from because I've missed those skill ups. So that's going to be my reeve. We'll show everybody else at the end. But he really is such a hero. He protects Cerberus by being in front. His slows and his stuns provide crowd control that not just helps him, right? Uh, here's the stun and here's the slow, but it helps Cerberus deal more damage uh, because Cerberus is also cultist. Before, we weren't getting any real crowd control. So we, we were kind of losing that part of Morgan's kit. That's why she didn't shine too much. But now with Reeve, Cerberus can deal way more damage from all the cool stuff in this kit, right? So without further ado, I think that kind of shows you. I will just say, Cerberus Lunacy Visor, if you're going to do this kind of strategy, absolutely you need a Lunacy Visor. Maxed out is ideal. All my guys that I'm using, uh, except for Constance, and because I don't have a out, maxed out Astral Obelisk, you'll see that she's wearing that. And then, of course, Reeve. I just have the one I bought from the shop. That's never dropped for me. But all the other three guys, Valkyra, uh, Cerberus, and, of course, uh, Ardia, they are in maxed out artifacts, as you'll see. So you can see uh, with Cerberus, I really, 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 really like going a Glacier set. I want to get him, uh, if you can do get this amount of HP, otherwise, go for it. But, you know, I'm going for DPS with HP uh, HP and attack. Pretty simple. At the end of the day, he's got really high base stats, so we got him over 60k HP, which I do find to be a sweet spot for keeping him alive. Maybe 58k plus. 60 or above is even better. Uh, 20k attack is nice. I guess we'll do Cerberus now, too. We're already doing it right. Nearly crit capped. Not too much crit damage, but I did sacrifice crit damage and stuff. Uh, you know, in favor of HP. And then Rage Regen doesn't matter because I only really ult with him once. I throw one extra ult in at the beginning because why not? But it is what it is, baby. All right, I'm going to go into display capture mode. Actually, you won't be able to see. Uh, let me just prep you right now on display and I'll show you. Uh, this is basically it's going to be. I have a delayed Ardia placement. This is because she's got an auto ult and I've done a lot of testing, hours of testing. This is how I find it, it go very nicely. Um, you know, I find if I place her right away, it's too early. If I place her any later, it's too late. So this is the sweet spot I have found. And then these are my key triggers. I'll click auto and then I kind of interrupt it at around four minutes, 30 seconds. Um, auto ults, I mean, and then these are kind of how I trigger them. So I'll announce them as I do it. Hopefully this only takes a couple tries. Who knows? Maybe I'll nail it on my first try. Shout out to Captain Reeve. He's so good. I've used him in so many gear aid four takeovers. I've now done 31 gear raid four takeovers i'm happy to have this crazy weekend behind me but it was a lot of fun reeve is amazing he synergizes so well with these uh you know you've got aeon or morgan or demi these amazing cultist teams he helps out all these heroes like virna and cerberus that that we really like uh, i really like him and he's an absolute superstar i'll show you guys the top leaderboards at the end i'm not the only one using him uh he's he's not really a secret he's an awesome awesome hero for this let's turn off display capture let me pull up my notes and i'll just and i'll announce it because i I think it's easier that way. I could put it on the screen, but I think that's kind of boring. So I'm not going to do that. I am going to do my deployments Zucania style, so as fast as I can. So let's actually restart. I like to calibrate and see where my heroes are. So first thing first, we got to get Reeve out. Now I will say we put, uh, excuse me, put Cerberus here and we need uh, Constance because she's in an invigoration set. So I can do Constance. Now I do Valkyra. Now I can relax at when it's five minutes, 52 seconds over here. That is when I'm going to place my Ardia. And I'll actually place Ardia. Now we'll click auto ult. Now I'll pause this um, and I'm gonna move my head so you guys can really see better. You don't need to see me, you need to see the battle. I'll put myself right over uh, <laughs> right over the Conqueror boss, right over Cyrus, because screw that guy. He's gonna see him in my nightmares. He's so annoying. Um, okay, perfect. Let me put my notes back up and let's get into it. So now it's on auto ult. It doesn't matter too much. We can throw this thing on 2x. And at, like I said, about four minutes, 30 seconds, I will interrupt this. If I get quiet at any time, 
it's because I am hyper focused at absolutely nailing this thing. I would love to get it first try while filming and we'll just pretend it was my first try period, right? Why not? So the next thing we're gonna do is it's 410, we're gonna trigger Sir, uh, Reeves ults. And I've been nudging these things by the second. I don't know you saw, we have one at 36, one at 19, one at 14, you know, within that minute. I'm really trying to get it down tight. Uh, we can take it off already because I'm not going to trigger anyone else now. You'll see Valk will be ready. I'm just going to hold her off because it allows Reeve to get more hits on top. Um, and it allows me to make sure I time her next ult, which is the one that matters. Um, I, I can time it properly. Uh, all right, so here you go. What I do hate is the way I slow it down. I've said this before on stream, uh, but I'll say in the video now. Like the way I like to slow it down, you can go to like super slow-mo mode by clicking on their portrait on, on quick cast over here, right? But when you do that, they pop up in the top left corner. So now I can't see the clock. If you're listening, Moonton, put the clock over here or something. Like what the hell is going on? It drives me crazy. Or do a second clock. It, it's insane. Uh, anyway, 410 will do Reeve. Enough of my ramblings. If he's ready, wake up, buddy. We'll just do him as soon as possible if he's not ready. He should be right about ready. There is RNG as to when he's getting his hits out. Cerberus might have taken, you know, some damage, killed some people too fast. So at four minutes, we'll do uh, Cerberus. All right, we can exhale for a second. At 3.36, I'm going to do Valk. And guys, you can try to copy these timings if you want, but it's all going to be slightly different for everyone, depending on your DPS, depending on your windows, depending on any heroes you sub in or out. This is just what works for me. We don't need to use Constance right now, so we're going to save her. 336, we'll do Valk. My next one is going to be Constance. We do 319. And this is basically basically kind of juggling between the ults of Valk uh, and Captain Reeve, because they're the ones kind of protecting Cerberus from taking too much direct damage. So let's wait. Here we go, 21, 20, 19 for Constance. Constance, I could wait on longer, but by triggering her earlier now, we can have her ulting again later, uh, sooner because we'll do the next ult and then the, the two ults from now so not the next one but the one after that will be the one as the wall is about to go down and we can get our final last push for damage uh, let's pause it so I can see the clock I like to do Reeve at 314 so we'll do them just about now and basically we're kind of in the zone now so all I'm going to do is as these come up except for Cerberus if I can we want to postpone ulting with Cerberus for as long as possible the later into the fight that he ults right we want to do it right before he dies the better for these other guys it's ASAP so the order is going to be uh, Valk, Reeve, and then Constance, I believe. Uh, let's see. Let's see. As soon as they're ready. Service is ready, but we want to hold off for as long as possible. Really, like, if we can get towards two minutes, even a little less than two minutes, sometimes I've been able to do. That's really good. Valk's ready. I clicked it over there because it's a slightly more precise. I feel like there's a little bit less lag. You can see Service taking some big damage, but by now Valk taking out this bottom lane... Uh, we should be pretty good on, you know, mitigating the amount of people that are actually reaching him and putting damage out on him. Now, it's very close here between uh, Constance and Reeve. Serb is back up over half health, though, so that's really nice. I'm going to do Reeve first. Now I'll do Constance. All right, and he died. All right, so that's kind of the RNG of it all. So I'll run it back, and I'll pick up the video right here. Uh, sometimes he gets those nice auras, and he's able to heal himself up just enough, but dying at 2 minutes 13 seconds... That is not going to cut it. We need him to die at like 2 minutes 2 seconds or 1 minute 58 seconds. Otherwise, he's dying too early and he's not getting enough big boy damage when we need it. So let me do that again. I'll just fast forward through this part and then we'll check back in right around the same time. Hopefully on this next run when it works. All right, so I queued up the auto there late on Reeve. I don't know what happened with the RNG. We'll try it and we'll see. Uh, there's so much, you know, because he's getting, he needs to generate rage when he's attacked, when he does attacks or is attacked. But, you know, depending on RNG of like if Falcons kill someone too fast or if Cerberus does the little water decay aura in the wrong thing, it can really get thrown off. We still will try again here though. So next up is going to be Valk basically as soon as we can get her. We'll throw it on 1x when we get closer. Service full health, though, so who knows? Maybe we're cooking. You never know. All right. Looks good. There's a lot of RNG that goes into this stuff with these kind of heroes, which is not my favorite thing in the world. You can see Reeve is way behind, but we're just going to pray. Um, I don't like it, um, but who knows? Let's trigger con Constance literally as soon as we can. Tons of damage on Serb because we really want Reeve out there doing his slows, but most importantly, when he's ulting, doing those stuns, uh, and Reeve dies. Yeah, so it got totally thrown off. Let's run it again.
All right, interrupting. Something definitely weird going on with this auto, so I might just have to manual it again. Uh, Reeve is just ulting, uh, ulting way too late. Uh, we'll wait for 319 for Constance. Then ideally, I wanted to be at Reeve like at 314. Clearly, he's going to be late, so we just got to get him as soon as possible. Let's see how late we actually are. Yeah, less than 310. I don't know if that's going to line up well enough. I don't. Th We're going to have to get some pretty lucky RNG for, for Serb to stay healed and Reeve to stay healed. Because he's also getting like the big portion of his heals when he's ulting, um, and getting big stuns when he's ulting. That doesn't look good for him. No, it doesn't. If you don't have Reeves exclusive, uh, the tuning crystal would be a really nice choice. I'll throw that out there. Yeah, Reeves could not be taking longer, and he's taking a ton of damage. We need him. He's a bit higher now. Let's see what this onslaught's going to look like. Let's throw this on 1x. I I also really hate... I know there's only so much they can do when there's this many mobs, but, like, I can't see. Can you guys... I can barely see this. Like, I want to be able to see their health so much more clearly. All right, if somehow he can get his ult off... I think he's going to just miss it. All right, we got it. We got it. All right, get a heal. Right, he's back up a bit. Come on now. He's still super low. I don't love that. So now here we go. Service is looking pretty good. We're still ulting with uh, Valkyra. Ulting with uh, Reeve. It looks like definitely he's going to die, though. <laughs> definitely. There's double S. I want to hold off for as long as possible. And again, it would be a lot easier to see if I could see this health bar. But it's really high right now. The later I can wait on Cerberus, the better. So even if Reeve dies right now, if I can time Cerberus out properly, we might be looking good. Reeve definitely is about to die. See, right now, it's very hard to see. If I, Every time there's a big b burst of damage, I just cannot see. I right, Reeve died. This feels like a good time to trigger service. All right, I kind of got that within a second. Now you just throw this thing on 2x, baby, and you click auto. You'll see at the end why I did a lot of the lineup with the girls that I did. Uh, Valkyra is about to be ready as this is all going to fall apart to ult, and not soon behind her is going to be Constance. Valkyra's ult lasts 30 seconds. Constance is 20, so that's pretty good. It is. I do wish it was a little bit sooner with Ardia, but if I do her any sooner, I find everything else falls apart. And you can see we're darn close once again, but... <laughs> It's so frustrating, my god. I'm going to leave this in for sure, because I really want you guys to see it. I am going to come to a manual now, and I'm going to just control Reeve a bit more. And this is kind of where the desktop, my little strat, comes in. You throw this thing on display capture, and now it's like, all right. So in the thing before, we were doing Reeve at, at 410. Maybe we ought to do him at 412 now, so it holds up a bit better. And then ideally, this Reeve is going to line up properly. So I'll do a little speed up here, and uh, hopefully it all runs really, really good. <laughs> So what I'm actually going to do here, I'm at the beginning of the run, I let the auto place it, and now I'm going to manual it. Um, I'm just going to not do this first ult that was happening on auto with Reeve, and I'm just going to hold him, and I want to do him at like 412, so it, it works. Uh, I don't really want to, you know, we don't need this initial damage, obviously, and I don't really want to you know, play with it and risk it. So don't be afraid to do that. I mean, it's going to take Soulbound Arcana to build up a little longer for, for him and uh, for Ardia, but keep in mind it's everybody's ults that are getting counted because this thing is bugged, or who knows at this point, maybe it's just a feature. I don't know how they haven't fixed it yet. For anyone who doesn't know, when you get your stacks by triggering your ult for Soulbound Arcana, it's supposed to be you, at least that's how it reads, but they are counting the whole team. So as long as you have like five team ults out, and this has been tested extensively, um, then it's gonna you're, that those heroes wearing Soulbound Arcana are going to get max stacks. So let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Uh, Constance, we just we can just hold her. We really don't need this. Let's just make sure we don't mess up Reeve. So 412. Next one's going to be uh, Cerberus at four minutes. It really doesn't matter because we're just going to be holding him. But I just I feel like use him because why not? It seems like it's giving us a little more breathing room in our runs. So I'll do it. Not too many people even really reach him. But if they do, they die. So that's nice. Now we're going to do Valkyra at 336. And next up is going to be Constance at 319. I might even do Constance more at like 320 just to give us a little more breathing room at the end, assuming we can make it there. That was like 319, 320 anyways. It was kind of the same thing. And here you go. Reeve's going to line up. So for my 314, perfect. And I really do need the Reeve timing to be right because his stuns and his big AoE is like major protection for Cerberus. So you see Cerberus is in a good spot. And look at, look at what Reeve's doing. Just completely immobilizing, stunning the top. These guys are... It's, it's, it's the definition of crowd control. Stopped in their tracks, just doing their best and doing it poorly. 
And now we're at the point where we, you know, we wait, we wait, and we hope we get some good Serb RNG, keeping him healed up, and then we trigger those ults that we need. So let's throw some on 1x. We're waiting for Valkyra right about now. Trigger. It looks like definitely up now is going to be constant since I was slightly early with her. Serb's looking pretty healed up, though. Hopefully we make it. Come on, Valkyra. Do your job. He's looking good. He's looking good. All right, Reeve will be ready first, which is what I wanted. All right, so let's trigger him as soon as possible. Uh, and then as soon as we can trigger Constance, we shall. Before, I was trying to time up the Constance ult with the Serb ult and then Serb death. But then I feel like I was missing out on a ton of damage at the end. And when, you know, the result was a lot better when I just used her ult so it could line up at the end better. Because if I waited for her with service, we could pull it off with the situation we're in right now. But then she won't be ready to ult to help the girls at the end since my run is so close and sweaty. If your run isn't close and sweaty, then, then do it the other way. But clearly mine is. Serve's in good shape, though. Let's really keep our eye here. And also, look how much better shape Reeve is now that the freaking auto didn't mess it all up. Really keeping an eye. Barely able to see the health bar. The boy's getting low. All right, there. He's really low. Trigger. Now now we want him to die. Now the sooner he dies, the better. Ah, alas. Yes, there we go. All right, so only missed about two or three seconds. Because as long as you do the ult before the death, you're still getting all those big damage boosts. Throw this thing on. Reeve died, because Reeve always dies now. But uh, we pray. We pray that this is the run. The wall's in good shape. You can see we're already at 1.5. We need Constance to ult. Here comes the Ardia ult. Again, I wish I could put her down sooner, but the other stuff didn't line up. Get some ults off, girls. Come on. You really understand my frustration, right? Like, how brutal is this? It is so brutal. <laughs> it is so brutal. Um, oh, my God. Ah, oh, frick. Yeah, the Constance is too late. You you see how sweaty it is. I mean, that's still less than that's still less than forty thousand away. It's so close. Ah, nice. All right, all the times are perfect right now. Literally, right what I wanted. So, the very least, I know that this auto is the right setup. <laughs> so that's comfy. So now I can rerun it and just interrupt it here. Really, the only manual thing now is just going to be making sure Serb is good to go. Okay, Serb looks really good. Stay up, stay up, stay healed, stay healed, get higher. Yep, over halfway, come on. All right, let's throw some 1x. I just, let me see his health, guys, please. Please let me see his health. All right, he's about halfway. Now he's getting nice and low, and now I can't see anything. All right, I ha I'm going to go 156, let's say. All right, I mean, I, I, I nailed that. He was ulting, right? I, I, I did that. Yeah, all right, sweet. <laughs> this could be it. Stay alive. Reeve's going to die. Reeve dies right now. All right. Should line up well with the girls at least. Reeve did us no favors. It still takes too long with Constance. It really does. I wonder if I can just delay Constance even better. You know, it's still missing by seconds. Yeah, I guess that's what it's going to be. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt it here. I'm going to bump Constance. We just did her before at 320. I feel like if we could pull off, and I don't know if we can, but if we could get her cycled earlier, let's do her at 328. I'm going to bump her eight seconds. Slightly arbitrary. I, I tried to time it out a bit by eyeballing it. Let's see that if that can work. I don't know if we'll be able to hold everything else as well, because this first ult here is kind of a wasted ult. But, you know, if the, if the next one and then the final one work, it's okay. So let's see. Valkyria at 336. Let's do her at 337. I think that worked last time for sure. Now we'll wait for 328. I'll keep it on one X just to make it perfect. 29, 28, and trigger. All right. Reeve is way ahead of schedule, but it's okay. He's coming at 314. There's nothing he can do about it. That is proven. That's a proven winner right there at 314. You know what? 315. It's the spice of life, baby. Mix it up. Whoop. All right. It's that time. We wait. Let's see if that throws everything off or if, it, if Constance can still do it. Read slightly earlier. Also, if he can hold on like he did two attempts ago, then uh, he will be able to uh, maybe get that third ult off. You know, that being the first, third at the end. Survive just a touch longer. I just got to keep an eye on Serb and pray, really. I don't even have to look. It's really about these other guys now. It's looking good, though. Looking really good. So I think we pulled it off with Constance for sure. Uh, so that's going to be Valkyra. We'll get Constance as soon as possible. We should get a ton of damage out of Constance, uh, out of Valkyra with Constance this early with this much overlap. Not much overlap now with Ardia, but Ardia is also Ardia, so she can kind of, she kind of has it can't handled. 
Uh, tons of damage on Serb, though. So take care of that side. Come on, Reeve. Oh, so, so close. Go stay alive, stay alive. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Oh, he needs to heal up so fast. If I could have been slightly earlier with Reeve. Man, at least see Cerberus. And he's holding on. Some clutch heal-ups at the end. All right, we're going to trigger him now. I was too early. No, not only by a couple seconds. All right, so the rest hopefully lines up well. Reeves in a tight-ish spot, but if that ult can come back up in time like I hoped, it doesn't look like it will. But look how well Constance and Valkyrie are lining up. That's really good. Come on. Go, line up. Constance taking forever those last bit. That last bit. Jeez. Brutal. Here comes Ardia. I don't know what all that was at the end. That last... Oh, this is infuriating. The RNG of it all is crazy. All right, so getting ready to hop back in here. Um, so you guys, uh, I was, as you saw, I was less than a thousand away. So I was like, all right, let's just start recording. But actually, you see, this is going to turn into a video very much highlighted by all my fiddling. So you're getting a look at what I've been up to for a while on Twitch. A couple more nudges here. I'll super slow-mo it for a second. We're at 3.40. So I'm moving Valk up to 3 minutes, 38 seconds. Constance, we're going to be at 3.32. And Reeve will be up another two seconds as well from 3.14 to 3.16. So let's do 3.38 with Valkyra. Uh, Valkyra, and then 332 with Constance, 2x. Hopefully Reeve gets up in time. Yes, certainly he will. Yeah, because he was so comfy. That 412 was the, the best move we've done since we started filming this video, at least. Uh, so 316, and I think any, er er any earlier would be bad. Okay, coming in. I hope that wasn't too early, and not because we, you know, we're a slightly wasted crowd control since we had a lot of damage already going. But uh, let's see. And now we're, you know, now we're doing our early triggers, man. Let's see. Serb is literally, I was going to say essentially full health. Serb is literally full health. So hopefully you can just hold on long enough for Valkyra and Constance to start ulting again. He's looking really good. Yeah, he's still nearly full health. That's great. All right, let's go. There's Valkyra. He's going to come Constance now. Basically, just need enough damage protection from Valkyra on the side because you can see the ult. If this was manual ult with Ardia, this would be such a better experience for me. <laughs> I mean, she's good enough as it is, but if she had manual ult, I wish that was an option. Like, it shouldn't be like auto auto ult is like, well, it's auto ult. Like, you should be like able to turn off any any auto thing should be able to be manual. I think he's getting healed up though, so get this boy over half. I'm gonna keep it on one. Eh, let's do it. Let's put it on one X once the time really comes. Like this. Oh my God, he's already dropping. The later the better. Again, these numbers, Moonton. If you're watching, it's driving me insane. I can't see. All right, that's it. Go. That's gotta be it. He's about to die. Yeah, go. Oh, he's holding on. Wow, crazy boy. Well, everything else lined up beautifully, so let's just see. Health on Reeve is actually looking good. Can it stay good by the time he gets off another ult? I don't know, but look at Constance. She's doing all right. Should line up really well with Valkyra. Now they reach the wall. Now Reeve dies. There's Valkyra. Come on, Constance. There's Constance. Come on, huge damage. Please, please, please. The wall's at half. Let's go. Just pick off some kills, man. See, this is this is what's going on here. That's what I don't get. Give me some Ardia. No. So I'm gonna save that auto fight. I think that was exactly how I'd want it. It did feel like it was all lining up really good. It's too bad about Ardia, but I don't think I can make it work another way. Uh, we're so darn close. I'm gonna let a whole auto run. I'm really gonna be fast sorting through a ton of this, but I do want to show you guys the whole, obviously I wanna say unedited, but uncut, you know, the whole process. Coming up on 40 minutes of filming. All right, I'm joining in here right before the Reeve ult. Let's do it. Uh, and I'm going to try to be really aggressive with how long I can hold off on ulting with Cerberus. My best runs have been when I do it with under a minute left. You can actually see um, things have lined up beautifully. He's at like full health. So I'm going to really try to put this off for as long as possible. Here comes the point where I can't see anything. A minute 56 has proven me well in the past. So let's see if we can go to a minute 55. Hey, nice. Perfect. All right, I mean, that's the kind of thing where, like, if that doesn't work, there's not too much I can do aside from keeping, continuing to rerun it, rerun it, rerun it. Reeve is struggling to hold on there, though. Uh, let's just put Morgan out. <laughs> All right, lined up well with Valkyra. Come on. Well, there we go. De so we have, like, two-thirds of the wall with these guys going, but that's not enough. I think, yeah, we got to find a run where Reeve just doesn't die. That's what it all has to come down to.
Okay, jumping back in. Reeve. Should get back up close to full health. Sherbus is at full. Again, I'm going to be really aggressive. Focus on 1x. And see. All right, cool. Now I can't see. Um, let's just look at the clock, I guess. Oh, he's about to die. So it's like 154. Let's see. Reeve is looking kind of doable. I don't know. He's over half. Maybe this is the one Reeve holds on. Come on now. Keep healing yourself. Hold on, buddy. Reeve, get that ult off. Yes, okay. Reeve lasted for the ult. That could this be the run. Things are lining up for us. There comes Ardia. Come on now. Let this be the run. Let this be the run. With those stuns should buy us just enough time. Let this be the run. Let this be the run. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's go. Oh, my God. There you go. And it really was a Reeve showcase in the end. Oh, my goodness gracious. Uh, I have got to give it to Moonton. This triple S. Woo. That got my heart rate up. This triple S really feels like a triple s like this was hard i mean sticks i sweat out i think my account is right in that part of like the early end game like i'm beating everything but it's still pretty hard this was a proper challenge so I, I, this was crazy and this is gonna be hard to do week after week i will say it will get easier as i get uh improved ultimates on reeve but you could see the early times we couldn't get the ult up he died just before that time he made it uh and that was the difference once we nailed out all that perfect timing so let's pull up my stupid ass notepad thing uh geez louise let's <laughs> this is what it took in the end so if anyone needs it already at 542 reeve at 412 cerberus this was more at about 358 in the end uh doesn't matter because that damage but you know just why not maybe it does matter valk at 338 constance at 332 reeve again at 316 and then as it all came up while holding off for service for as long as possible i believe in the end time serb this came out to a minute 54 seconds uh so if someone's trying to replicate and then auto and pray really there's nothing you can do after that point pretty cool stuff just under 1.6 i don't care i will not be doing this again for i think a long time because i don't think it's coming back next rotation kind of thrilled about that uh, this is going to be an annoying video to edit, but if, I really hope you guys appreciate it. So do let me know in the comments if you like this kind of stuff, really showing the process. Uh, you know, sometimes I give you like a full manicured guide. Sometimes it's about the process. So I guess this can be treated as a guide, but really it's a Reeve showcase and then showcasing my grind for, for getting this. And you can see, look at that, Reeve out damaging Cerberus. This is really because I was so concerned with Cerberus, or really just saving for the, him for the end. But Cerberus kind of did all, like at least half of that right at the end, which is crazy. Uh, Ardia reclaiming her throne at number two. Valk, insane. Kind of the way I'm using this comp. Uh, I will say Ardia is suffering because she keeps getting healed up by Constance, so she's not getting the max benefit of having a low health. Doesn't matter too much since we're not running her with a Lord, but there are other parts of her kit that, that work for that. But Reeve is crazy, right? A0 Reeve with terrible skill ups, and he, and he did the trick. You can imagine how potent he can be otherwise. Like I said, I'll show you the leaderboard, but that is going to be the W. That's my triple S. So let's go over here. Uh, and let me show you the team. I already showed you uh, Cerberus and Reeve. I haven't changed a single piece of gear since we started. I mean, any any editing you guys have been seeing is just me fast forwarding. That's literally it. I haven't gotten up, gotten my fat butt out of this chair. Uh, Morgan, I'll show you. Uh, probably not geared. She shouldn't be geared. She was not deployed. Doesn't matter, but I know people would ask. I guess if you don't know, Morgan is there strictly for her Lord skill. Uh, increases faction team members' basic attributes by 50%. So that is Captain Reeve and Cerberus. Increases faction team members damage dealt to enemies inflicted with any crowd control effect by 30%. So Reeve is bringing the stuns and the slows. Uh, so that's giving that. And then just in general, AOE damage by 25%. So when Reeve is doing his ult and when Cerberus is doing uh, anything. <laughs> so it helps a ton. Uh, it's interesting that it takes not deploying a unit to get it done. But for, for my account, it does. Reeve we discussed now and Cerberus as well for Constance she's in mostly my Dolores gear just going for attack bonus flat attack attack bonus flat attack with some rage regen this is the only like good invig piece I have for these inspo heroes and then here's some flat attack some heal effect it doesn't matter here uh, attack bonus flat attack and then uh, attack bonus again really doesn't matter she's in an astral obelisk this definitely 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 is best in slot for her for this fight uh, in my opinion I you know I as I'm saying that though 
there is an argument, as I'm saying that, there is an argument for Keen Wisdom because I didn't use her ult that much, but I did find the timings really tight at the end, so I do think it's important uh, when she's doing those heals, those are basic attacks, so I think you need the Rage Regen. I guess if you get it otherwise, or get the cycling good enough, then go Keen Wisdom. That's that's a fair shout. Moving right along, Ardia, she's in my second best Soulbound Arcana set. I did break it up a bit, but this is the right side is similar to what Arrogance normally wears in my Guild Boss. This is actually a piece I used hammers on. I used like three or four hammers on this. Uh, not amazing, I don't care, but uh, you know, the two stats that matter, the crit damage, the attack speed, it works, it works. Uh, this one, again, no, no ancients on these two, right? Low attack, flat attack, but again, this is what mattered the most. And this is quite a nice piece, an ancient, but only one ancient, you know, it's reasonable. A0 Ardia, but she is Ardia. Uh, she's max skilled. We can go right to Valkyra. Valkyra is getting towards max skill. I do think having her ultimate max is what really matters the most. If I could uh, snag this so her attack bonus scales higher, it's fine. To be honest, she kind of hand takes care of that lane all by herself. Reeve and Cerberus are the stars of the show with the girls just doing cleanup crew, uh, which I guess makes them the stars too, but they're just preserving the lane so the other guys can focus. Uh, that is going to be uh, my Valk, and she is a one which helps with the rage regeneration. Uh, earlier in the fight. Later on, the people are always coming, so she's always getting the hits out. Uh, but that's basically all it's going to be. Her A1 extends her range by a tile, uh, so you don't have to worry about the, the stuff that she's ulting. And then there's no shield to consume. I will say I ran her in a, a, a maxed out Frigid Flame, um, which I do think is best in slot. I have, uh, I just got her exclusive just this past week um, from, from Nightmare Void Rift. I tried it, the damage was way higher because this is the only way I could think to give her a shield. So I was like, all right, maybe her ult will work, work better. Maybe if I got some promotions into this, but for now, I certainly think this is this is the best. Frigid Flame, because she's never taking damage, right? So it's a 33% damage boost the whole time. And I just looked at the numbers. It was like 145 versus 200. It was pretty huge. It was, it was a stark difference, or 210. Uh, it, was, it was a lot. Um, depending on how it scales with the fight. She's in an Infernal Roar. Uh, good gear. This is like my, the right side is my zeal to gear, and then I believe this left side is the other part of my arrogance gear. Uh, you can see 16-2, 1.4 second interval, nearly capped at 307. Not insane stats, to be fair. I am rocking three ancients here, but not insane. Uh, this is endgame stuff. Uh, this strat totally will work for you guys if you have Reeve. You could uh, you could do Aatrox behind him or something if you wanted, or to the sides instead of Cerberus. Uh, for what I'm doing, Constance is pretty key, but if you want to bring more DPS, you could bring someone like Abomination. Uh, you can bring some, like, Arrogance for these guys, but I do think this is pretty darn meta, what I'm running. But there, there are swaps here. Uh, if you want a different Lord, like, Aeon could work, fine, no problem. Demi could work. Morrigan's going to be the best out of all of them uh, for, for this specific thing. And then, obviously, running a Chaotic Lord would be the best by far. Like, Gone is the best in the game for this, and then Vladov is a really nice choice as well. Um, I think that's everybody. Uh, RDS gear, I didn't show you. Uh, I just did, but I didn't show you the artifact. So she's in a max out Scarlet Hunt. For my testing, I think it's the best. Uh, if you were thinking, why don't you put a Frigid Flame on her as well? She's constantly doing damage to herself, so that actually does take off the not taking damage thing condition you need to meet from the Frigid Flame. Uh, when she's ulting and doing other stuff, you know, she's putting out a lot of bleed. Uh, you know, you got this, and uh, where's the other thing with her bleed? Uh, she puts out a lot of bleed. Uh, it's a nice, it's a nice choice for her. Uh, A zero, everybody A zero, I think. Or no, I take, totally take that back. Uh, <laughs> I totally take the back. Morgan A0, um, and Reeve A0, Cerberus A1, and Ardia A0, and then Cerberus A1, Constance A1, Valkyrie A1. So nothing too Looney Tunes, but it is a, it is a strong squad. There it is, just under 1.6. I'm not touching this for a long time. Hopefully by the time it comes back around, I'll be absolutely balling. I'll show you guys just some top teams to show you I'm not like a lunatic. People really are using Reeve. Gone is king. Gone remains king, but you know, not everybody has... Uh, tied for the rarest here in the game, right? Uh, so if we look, we will eventually find a Morrigan team. Oh my god. There you go. At number 35. Shout out to Cobra101ST. Uh, running something supremely similar to me, actually. Supremely similar. Uh, Cyrus is insanely good for this, right? Buying you tons of time with the skeletons. I'm using Ardia instead. All great options. But you can see, look at that damage. Look at These are his two cultists, right? Look at that damage. He obviously has a much better Cerberus than me. But that Reeve at 237 million, it is no, no joke. So shout out to Cobra over there. Uh, that A3 serve is a thing of beauty. I will say, if you got if you got a Reeve with A1, his A1 makes him even better. Um, let's see, how long is it going to take to find another Morrigan team? It's obviously not the meta for the top 100 guys in the world, but there you go. Here's another one. There's Reeve. Uh, it, it is it is an option, you know, if you're, if you're like me without Gone and you really want to push. Here's a Demi team uh, with Reeve, and there's someone just like me that didn't buy the skin. I wish I could buy the skin, but I didn't buy it. Here's another Morrigan team with Reeve, and another really cool option to bring Aatrox. I know Aatrox has helped a ton of people. 
Uh, so yeah, I think that's a nice little way to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. I hope this video doesn't end up being too long, but I do want to leave all my success, my singular, I want do want to leave my singular success and then my many failures in as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my stuff, like it. I've been fastidious. Uh, check me out on Twitch. I'm still live on Twitch right now. I'm streaming on Twitch all the time. I'm trying to get partners. So if you don't know, ch head over to Twitch, uh, drop me a follow, maybe even sub. Who cares? I don't know. Share with your mother. I'll see you real soon. Fast idiots.